So the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning before labs is make coffee and eat breakfast. I iron my uniforms typically on the weekend, so I do them Sunday night, so I have to do them throughout the week and then I lay them out the night before. So this is your chef uniform. You do get your chef coat, your thermometer, your pants, and your shoes with tuition as well as an apron and a side towel. So I'm on my way to my lab. It's like 6.30 in the morning. Um, I have labs from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. And right now I'm taking taking breads and venusus too. Um, so you get to see a little bit of what that's like when I get to class. So most chefs will want you in their lab 10 to 15 minutes before class starts. And then the first thing you'll do is unpack your knife kit and get a chair so you can be ready for lecture. This one is that the more water you have to bake it longer. So at one point, that longer baking turns a forget that. So most chefs will actually lecture before their class starts just so they don't have to do it at the end of the day. Um, lecture normally lasts 30 to 45 minutes. So what you do for production in class will vary day to day based on what you're working on on that day. But here's an example of something I would normally do in a day. Uh, so that's the end of my typical lab day normally after labs I come back to my room and I shower and then I have lunch and on Tuesdays and Thursdays I actually have a class at 2 p.m. Um, on Mondays and Wednesdays I normally go to work right after so that's the ten end of my typical lab day now I'm going to take you guys on a tour of an empty classroom so you can see what a whole classroom looks like as well as show you um, cake display that is set up in our pastry filler as well as some pictures of other things you'd make in other labs besides bread. So your class segments are typically going to be 14 days. So foundations is to cover all your bases, cookies, pies, tarts. Cakes is everything from normal frosted cakes to wedding, anniversary, and specialty cakes. Chocolates and confections covers all types of chocolates, sugars, and confectionery work. Bre your breads classes will cover all things breads and breakfast pastries. In plated desserts, you will combine everything you've learned in other classes to make a presentation plate. You do not need any classical cooking or cooking or baking training, though it is beneficial to know a little bit of that general knowledge. At the end of each class, you will have a practical and most of the time you will set up your finished products to look like they would in a display case in a bakery. Um, some classes you will make bread sculptures and your cakes class you actually make a custom order cake based on an order you take. Every student is also required to take an internship, so you actually go work in the field you want to work in with industry professionals. Your lab classes will typically be between 12 and 15 students. Yes, all the chefs have experience in their field, 
Um, two honorable mentions are Chef Harry Payne Miller. Um, he is one of the breads teachers. He actually competed at the Kudaman, which is basically the Olympics of bread. Um, so he's world renowned for his bread sculptures, as well as um, Chef Duke. Uh, she is known for her specialty cakes.